Hi there, Tara Logan here with Free Clip Art for Me and another tutorial to help you uh, be able to use all the great things that you can download for free. Um, here we are inside the Free Clip Art for Me membership website and this is assuming that you've already gotten your free membership and you've logged in. And um, on the left hand side here, <clears throat> excuse me, you can see all these great things that you can download. And not only can you download clip art, as the name free clip art for me implies, but you can also download HTML templates and graphics, um, WordPress blog templates, and other things like that, turnkey websites, other things like that. And they all require, if you're actually going to use these things, you've got to be able to edit them for them to reflect your message. So this is what this is about. The first thing you're going to need is you need to download some free software. And so we're going to go over first to this website called MyFreeWebsiteBuilder.com. And it really is free. Um, when you land on the page, right here is a video that runs automatically. I've already ran through it so that I could speak over top of the video. But pay attention to this video because it shows you how to download it, get it installed on your machine, your computer, and do a web page. Um, I'm also going to show you some, some tricks. So do pay attention to this. It's not running right now because um, I can't stop it. <laughs> it just runs automatically and uh, I wouldn't. you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and click where it says download now. Now this is where he gives you an, an offer and take it or leave it. I'm not an affiliate this so there's no benefit for me. But, um, you know, he's got a lot of graphics here that you might be interested in using on your websites. Um, free clip art for me probably has, probably already has it for free. Anyway, um, so we're going to say no thank you to that, but we're going to say yes please to the free website builder. And here you put your name and your best email. So, you know, get an email that you're actually going to go and, and grab it because you do have to confirm. When you confirm your email and you download the software, um, like I said, go to that video on the main page pay attention to it. He gives you a lot of good information. So that's you getting your software and utilizing the tutorial on that site. When you are done and you have got it all installed, we're going to go back to the free clip art for me website. We're going to go to HTML templates and graphics and I am going to have to re-log in. So let me do that real quick here and uh, go through the login process here. Obviously, uh, upgraded members don't go through all this. Okay, here we are inside again the free clip art for me membership site, and I'm going to click HTML templates and graphics, and I'm going to click something pretty basic. This first one is is Moby, and um, I'm just learning about Moby websites myself, so I'm not going to go with that. I'm going to go with what I've decided already, which is kind of a simple site, blogging for me mini site. And if you upgrade, you get more. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to download it. Now if you don't know how to download and unzip files, go to video number one because that deals with downloading and unzipping the files you get at Free Clip Art for me. So I'm going to save the file. It's going to go down. I'm going to click it open. I'm going to extract the files. I'm fine with it going there. And uh, let my computer do the work. Very good. I can close this window because this is a zip file you can see. You know that because it says extract all files. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to minimize that. Now, close the download window. I've already got the software installed and I have it here already ready to go whenever I need it. So I'm going to double click that. It's going to ask me if I want to run it, of course. And here we are. Now again, that guy at the myfreewebsitebuilder.com website does give you a tutorial too so you want to pay attention to that one as well but here I'm just going to do this I've downloaded my free uh, blogging template I unzipped it now I'm here and I've installed this myfreewebsitebuilder.com software I'm going to go to file I'm going to go to open file I have to browse my computer to find where this stuff is I remember I put it in downloads and free blogging mini website blogging money now this navigation that I'm doing all through is just that stuff you need to learn about navigating your uh, your computer your computer is just like a filing cabinet and all these are the files that's why they even look like little manila files I'm gonna open up 
that because it says that's the index file. Index files are always the main number one page that goes on your, your main placeholder on your website. So I'm going to click index. I'm going to open. Everything's there. Um, you're going to have to upload images to the internet. The location right now is on my computer. I have to upload these images and make sure I put the right URL, image URL right there. That's a whole nother uh, tutorial and I do hope to get to all these things for you. But here we are and this is what I'm just taking care of right now. I've downloaded the HTML template. I unzipped it. I downloaded my free WebsiteBuilder.com software. I installed it. I opened it up. I went to File. Sorry. Went to File. Open. I found this page and here it is. So quite simply, put the cursor right there. Hi there. I love my free HTML template from Free Clip Art for Oops for me. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we have it. And of course, you know, you just you just edit, 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 and you learn to use your editor. We'll bold it, you know, make it bigger. Uh, you know, insert an image, right? Insert a table. I mean, whatever it is you want to do. Now, for the most part, though, these templates are already done for you. And so what you do really just want to do is be putting in, you know, your message, right? So I'm done. I'm going to go to File. If I want to save it as index, as a, as a rule, just to be safe, I always go Save As. Because then I can look and see where it's going to be saving as. Index is a very general, uh, is a very standard name. I probably have um, a zillion index.htm ML files on my computer, but they're all separated by these folders. So I just want to make sure that um, I'm doing the right thing. So index, save. Yes, I want to replace it. Very good. And then the next step, of course, would be uploading all these files and images to your server, and that is FTP, File Transfer Protocol. You can do that with an FTP software. You can do that inside your cPanel. I prefer FTP software. cPanel takes a long time, in my opinion, uh, depending on what you're doing. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you, and thank you for being a free Clip Army member, and thank you for taking the time to check out the tutorial to learn some extra stuff. And uh, until uh, I make another video, here's to your success, and take care.